I'll start by adding the key arranger to the set and start an arrangement. In this case, I used a loop length of 8 bars, since I think the arrangement I will be creating is going to change about every 8 bars. I'm now holding a couple of keys to unmute clips. I used the keep section key to keep the combination of sounds and to get a new section to continue working with. As mentioned in the getting started video, the keep section key is the only function key you need to use to arrange a full song. Pressing it stores the current combination of muted and unmuted clips and gives you a new section. And holding it stores the current muted and unmuted clips while staying in the current section. So by holding, you can continue to make edits in the section until you want to proceed. And then press the keep section key when you want to continue. The capture feature enables you to capture an arrangement within the section. For example, if you work with 8 bar sections, like we're doing now, you can use this feature to start something in the middle of that section. Press and release the capture key to capture the last combination of mutes and unmutes and continue to a new copy of the section. Now the unmute was captured in the middle of the section and similar to the keep section key function we also got a new copy to work with. If you instead hold the capture key you will get the same capture functionality but will stay in the same section. Press and release the section length keys to increase or decrease loop length. This will toggle through the four preset section lengths 4, 8, 12 and 16 bars. The new length is applied when a new section is created. You can also hold both keys to apply the new length to the current section. If you want to set a custom section length, you can use the input field. You can also use this menu to set a standard length. Shift changes the functionality of section length keys to move loop. Hold shift and press and release the keys to move loop left or right. This requires that locators have been created. It's also possible to move the loop manually while arranging, as long as you set it to follow the structure of your sections. To create locators, set a length in minutes, for example 5 minutes, then press create locators. The locators enable you to move the loop with the keys while arranging. When using this feature, you'll notice MIDI dummy clips being placed on the key arranger track in addition to the locators. This makes it easier to zoom out and see all locators by using Live's Optimize Arrangement With button. To delete all locators in the set, click the Delete Locators button. Press and release the Change Scene key to toggle between scenes. The new scene selection is applied when a new section is created. You can also hold both keys to apply the new scene selection to the current section. You can also use the scene menu to select scene. Press the update button will apply the new scene selection to the current section. When you have created an arrangement, the clear muted button can be used to clear the arrangement from muted clips. The View Tracks function displays a view of the tracks in your live set. A group in live can be set as voice. This means multiple tracks are mapped to a single key. For example, a group track with three bass tracks can be mapped to a single key. To arrange individual sounds in drum racks, uncheck the voice toggle on the drum rack. This will separate the drum rack and allow you to map the individual sounds to separate keys. You can also use the drum chains 
to map certain groups of sounds within a rack to a key. Note that all configuration of tracks need to be done before you start an arrangement.